Pam, you've been involved with the association for a long time. This is the first time at, at least, uh, you know, in their history that they're moving online for a, a regional mini meeting. You've been heavily involved in the process. What's that been like behind the scenes? Well, definitely, Brian, it's been a learning experience because I've never really done any virtual uh, meetings before. And certainly, I have not been involved in developing any. So it's been quite a learning experience. I'm very much looking forward to it, though, because with everybody being so isolated, I think it's wonderful that we'll all be able to make contact and speak with one another and learn something. The original meeting meeting was supposed to take place in Northborough, Massachusetts. What Correct. are the details now? The details now are we're going to have a Zoom meeting. Um, everybody who's interested will get an invitation to that Zoom meeting, and you'll be sent a link. You'll just click on it, and you'll be brought right into the meeting. And if um, you need any assistance, I'm sure we can provide it. You can uh, send us an email or call the office and we'll be able to help you with whatever you need help with. But the more the merrier. How pivotal of an opportunity do you think that this is for the association? I think it's a great opportunity. Uh, the majority of people who belong to the Association of Beltel Retirees are retired. We do have members who are still working but uh, it makes it difficult for them to attend a physical meeting. This way, uh, when we're coming into the, the uh, digital world, more people will be able to come into the meeting, find out what's going on, and get some information regarding the association. Prior to the call, you, you kind of brought up the fact that we're in the middle of, of a crisis, you know, uh, not just the country, but the world in terms of uh, COVID-19 and uh, the fact that everybody's pretty much been stuck at home for the last uh, four or five months. Did that play a part in the decision to move virtual? It, it absolutely did. Speaking for myself, yesterday was the very first day I went to a supermarket. And it was frightening to tell you the truth. Any food that we've gotten has been either we pick it up curbside at a restaurant or we have groceries delivered. And yesterday was the first foray out into the world and it was, it was scary. It was that first meeting was scary. So I think it might be frightening for a lot of people. So it's nice to make contact with people that have so many things in common with you and have a common thread running through their lives, which is being retirees of the Bell system. So I'm looking forward to meeting and seeing a lot of people coming to this meeting. Do you see virtual meetings becoming a staple for the association moving forward? If you had anything to say about it? I absolutely do. I absolutely see it as a good tool. A lot of people don't like to travel. In the winter, um, especially, a lot of people go to warmer climes. And this way, even if you are somewhere else, you can still meet up with people that you know and people who have information to impart to you, and you can find out what's going on. So just to uh, kind of put things in perspective, you've been involved with the association for a very long time. Uh, you've been on the board for a long time. Does this get you excited again to kind of re-engage with people that you haven't met with in a long time? Yes, it absolutely does. I'm for speaking for the board, we've had virtual meetings and they've been very good. Um, it was good to see everybody. It was good. It was much better than a conference call because you could see everyone and uh, you could address them directly. So it was not quite like being there in person, but very close to it. And I'm excited about that. Because even now, as we get older, you're not all that thrilled about going out and being someplace at a specific time. You sort of go by your own uh, schedule. And this way, it's not a problem to take part in a virtual meeting. Uh, I want to thank you for you know playing your part in 
facilitating the meeting. I give you uh, the floor for any final words. Well, just in relation to these virtual meetings, I always say I loved my job. I really loved my job. The travel time was awful. If I could have been beamed up to my job and just gotten there, everything would have been perfect. And I feel like this is what is happening with the virtual meeting. You're there and you don't have to travel to get there. And that's really all I have to say. I, I want to welcome everybody to the virtual meeting and to take part in it. It's not difficult. Uh, I think you'll find it easier than you think. And I think you'll find it more rewarding than you might think.